Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 1 from section 3-3 in the Savas Realize Algebra 2 textbook. So this example is looking at proving what are called polynomial identities. I think those are kind of strange wording. Those just mean formulas. All right, y'all, so we are proving a couple of the formulas and that they work. All right. So the sum of cubes identity, okay, a cube is an expression written to the third power. So we have this formula here that says a cubed plus b cubed is equal to, and so you could have a plus b, and then times a squared minus ab plus b squared. All right, so this is called the sum of cubes identity. And it's a way to factor when you have something cubed like this. So in order to prove it, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be simplifying this right-hand side. I'm going to multiply those together. And I'm going to see if we just get the a cubed plus b cubed there. So when I go to do this, I'm actually going to multiply using the box method. But you can multiply using foiling as well if you want to. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I like the box method because it keeps things fairly, um, fairly well organized honestly. So here I'm going to put the a plus b down the side and then I'm going to put the a squared minus a b plus b squared across the top and I'm going to find the, the area of each box. So a times a squared is a cubed. a times negative a b is negative a squared b. a times b squared is a b squared. Now here across the bottom, b times a squared is a squared b. b times negative a b is negative a b squared. And b times b squared is b cubed. All right, now it's important that you guys keep your variables in the same order. Sometimes Savas does some weird stuff with their word problems where they change the order of the variables. So make sure that your, your variables are always in alphabetical order or you're going to run into some boo-boos. Now check this out. I have a negative a squared b and a positive a squared b. So these two boxes are actually going to cancel each other out. The same thing applies here. I have a b squared that's positive, and I have a negative version of it here. So these two boxes cancel out. So the only boxes that are left, or my, my product here, is the a cubed and the b cubed. And so there's our proof that it works. So now the difference of cubes identity is this formula is equal to a cubed minus b cubed. I don't know why they didn't put that part on there. So I'm just going to do the same thing, all right? So I'm going to take that left-hand side of the equation, and I'm just going to multiply it together using the box method. Okay, you can use distribution if you want to. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to multiply together the a minus b and the a squared plus ab plus b squared. And I'm going to see if I get a cubed minus b cubed out of it. So a times a squared is a cubed. a times ab is a squared b. And a times b squared is a b squared. Now here down at the bottom, Negative b times a squared is negative a squared b. Negative b times a b is negative a b squared. And negative b times b squared is negative b cubed. So I have a positive and a negative a squared b. And I have a positive and a negative a b squared. So the only things that are left are a cubed minus b cubed. And so that's why that formula works. And that's the proof that's there. So make sure that you guys know those two formulas because they're very useful 
as we move forward because you're going to need to be able to fully factor a polynomial. But there we go. There's some of our formulas. Until next time.